Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Fody and welcome back to The Walking Dead, where we left off last time. This guy, Larry or Lenny or Lurinerini, punched me in the face and tried to get me eaten by zombies and I thought this guy was going to kill me with an axe, but he didn't because I defended his kid. So, this is where we are now. We left the pharmacy and we're going to go confront hey, go people. Good or bad? In all counties, Georgia cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. Columbus. No. To Atlanta. Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Let him go, he's important for the other walking dead. Shit. I like Glenn. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, People are going to give up if they go from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? No. You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. See you, Glenn. Probably never. And he's going to take the car. Duck, stop talking. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? <laughs> Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. I don't think I said I was clueless. I think I just said I didn't have any kids. Duck, I will freaking spear check you into that truck. Oh, I guess I want me to go this way. Okay, guess we're not talking to Larry right now. I want to punch him in the mouth. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Uh-huh. Well, he's dead now. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. No anyway, kidding. I'd rather be alone, I think. More than anything in human history. Wait. The whole world wait. is dying. What? What is it? How did you choose... We both needed you. You picked me. Well, that's an easy... I was gonna question. help you both. <laughs> but you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Don't be mad, because I picked you, lady. Next time I won't pick you first, and then you'll regret it. Because I'm sure you'll be in trouble again, because you all seem to always get in trouble. Because I'm talking to Clementine and then the moron. Done with a bag of hammers. Don't fucking look at me. I'm not civil with you, you piece of shit. You know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. What? I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any oh, sense. Oh, Glenn just left with the freaking walkie-talkie. I to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. 
Oh Great. man, Clementine, another thing. Doc, Jesus. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee. Do you Starting some fires, you? man. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Damn right he would. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky What's the music? Why'd the music change? I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. I don't hear anything but loud music. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually <laughs> until the military agree with that rolls plan. through. Me too. We got beds. We Isn't got water, she military? And most importantly, we got light. She's here. Then where's the military? Here home. with us. They're already yeah, all over right. the place. You know, guys. Not it's going doing military okay. things. They're doing people things, surviving and killing other people. And we're screwed. To be continued. Huh? I'm just gonna go right into the next... I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. What's going on? I expected they'd starve us out. Why would they give all of that away? What the hell is that shit? I'm gonna cut through that because that's bullshit. If you guys haven't seen it, that like spoiled half the freaking story. And I'm gonna cut through this. Now I'm gonna let the credits play. Now I'm gonna. Uh, f I don't know what to do. What? The I'm so confused. Let's try this. There we go, because they explain that so freaking well. This game cuts off in weird, episodic-like fashions because they release them an episode at a time, but they should really make it more smooth between episodes. So that if you're playing from the beginning, you've never seen any of it before and all of them are out, you can just play all of them at the same time and not have to worry about coming up next, which spoils half the freaking story. Anyway, three months later, I'm gonna freaking chop the crap out of this freaking zombie. Oh, now that that's out of my system. Who's eating a bunny? My poor little bunny. Who the hell are you? Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Not quite. Someone enjoyed the meal. I Maybe still can't believe not you, we but all that he did. commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark. Doesn't sound like you I have no regrets. Sounds like you're regretting that they hungry. ate all the food. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor. Who's Kenny? You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Who the hell's Kenny? Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. 
Can't blame him though. Oh, Kenny, you hear Larry Kenny, going Kenny. Off on him last wow. Night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, he's an asshole. I'm not surprised. There you go. That's a good one. Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily I thinks agree. he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. <laughs> I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a He's a walking, face-punching, punch betraying, face double-crossing asshole. Uh, knock me flat. Into a pile of zombies. If it wasn't for Kenny, I'd be dead. Dead as a doornail. Better get it. Don't, 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 zombies, don't, don't risk don't. the noise. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. I can relate. I know the feeling. <laughs> I thought that was the bird. Is that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh! It's a zombie bird. Oh! What's going on here? Here. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it Trap off. Travis Lego. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. No. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? What there the are bears. Mr. Parker said we bears. stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Okay. Please. Then shut up. Choppy, choppy. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you yeah, can Yeah, your get dad was special After forces, that, you asshole. Not you. Whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Take his leg off. Hurry, please. Hurry. Nice jaw. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh, where's your dad's special forces training now? Oh wait, you don't have any of it. He does. Get me out. He does. He did. Did does. He did. Dare did do it. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. And chop, 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 chop. Gonna have to take the leg off, man. Please do something to cut you out. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Try to get the chain. I can't. I gotta. I probably should have cut the chain. He's probably going through excruciating pain. Oh, oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my god. Oh, that is so much more brutal than I pictured it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. He passed out. Tighten that belt a little more. He's bleeding all over the place. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Oh my god. It's freaking game it always has those moments, man. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Bye, Travis. Bye-bye. Special Forces training to teach you to trip over the rock like that? Ooh. They disemboweled him. <laughs> Nothing like some death to start off an episode of The Walking Dead, not an episode of my game, because we're like 10, 15, 20 minutes into the game already. You're probably gonna need a hammer there, asshole. Trying to beat a wood beat a wooden plank with a rock, see how far that gets you. Probably not very far.
She looks so bored. You need to cut your ties with the old world, lady. Lose your father, he's an asshole. What the hell's going on here? Just stop kicking the frickin' soccer ball. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Bringing more people in. Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god! What's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What's no, your mouth? I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even she talked did this to last time yet. with Maybe me. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, huh. I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Damn right. Once Katja patches that Tired guy of your up, you craps. Here. Send them out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Oh! oh, oh what did I just do then? Hard decisions, my ass. Why don't you go out there and fucking fight some zombies, you fat you know old what? piece of shit? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Okay, I'd gladly do it. You can fucking leave. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Okay. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Your father ain't getting shit. You ain't getting shit, asshole. Clementine, Kenny, uh, the injured guy, and... Me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, shit. He can't have any food. Let's see. Who am I going to give food to? Wouldn't be fair to not give the kids food. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? After... Uh, sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. Nobody gets food. It. It's all for if me. I find it, I'll let you know. Nah. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. 
Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Actually, okay. I should probably give her father some food, I, I guess. She's on watch. She needs the food. Nah, but you're gonna get the last bit of food. You... Oh, shit. It's probably been a while since he's eaten. He just lost his friend. She needs some food. Carly, you're gonna have some food, I guess. Want something to eat? Ah, uh, crap. What would she like? Half an apple? You can have an have apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. Yes. What about uh, thank you? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. All right, where are you, pretentious asshole? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. He's just very negative. I'm gonna... Uh, probably a bad idea. <sighs> Here, Larry. Let's see. Crackers and cheese? You could use well, a piece of would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh man, just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need oh well. Help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. You said nope before. I just gave you food. Um, 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 Try not to make too much noise. Ah, yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal will make anybody cranky. That's very true. You don't get food, though. Two pieces of food left. Well, she's doing work on this guy, so I can give some to him. And then Clementine will get the last one because that's all there is. So. Shit. Fuck Duck. I'm not giving Here, Duck any food. Something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Duck? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. No problem. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. I'm not giving Duck any food. I'll give Kenny some food. I don't want to give Duck food. Damn it, they're two of the same thing. I have to give. Oh, God, here we go. I'm gonna try and take some food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Uh, I think she might need some food. This guy, he's new. Does Duck need food? Oh god, gave her food. Gave him food. Did I give Kenny food? Crap. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, screw it. Duck's getting hey, food. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. No, I Here. wouldn't do that. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Out of food. Not such an easy job, is it? That could be worse. Don't look at me like that. 
I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Oh well. Screw them. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That it has. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Until what about he the other kid? Comes back to life. Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! I was kidding! This bunch of assholes! No, 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 no. Okay. I'm gonna smash your head both ways. Take this! No, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Come on, you old man. I fed you. Why can't... Oh, God. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! <sighs> Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and I think I'm gonna be sick. We finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... Bitten! Patient Zero started in your Back high up. school, asshole! More people? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! I don't trust these people. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just Nobody out cares, Andy gasoline. and Dan. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look. We own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower you your guns, we can cows? talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Ah, it sounds like bullshit to me. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. Okay. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Cool. So, uh, what do y'all think? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. I didn't decide everyone Sounds should go. Fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Huh? That was not the decision so, I made at all. Dairy. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. 
Anyway, we're way, 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 way over time on this one, but you guys should be used to that by now because this game is just, it brings it on and brings it out and it's just, I don't know, it's awesome and I love it. Except for Larry, I hate Larry. No matter what I do to try and appease him, he cannot be appeased because he's an asshole. Anyway, that's all the time we got for today, so thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, you do that. Excellent. And I will go this way. Into the laundry room. Laundry. Sprinkler valve. Excellent. Number one. Click. I have a bad feeling that he's gonna come in here and try and